Hi there, we're just going to look at chart reading and uh, at this part of the program we're going to take the reading to a different stage. Instead of single line reading, so reading uh, a notated line, we're going to put that concept of reading into uh, seeing some very basic phrases but mostly map reading through a chart. Uh, map reading through a chart is, is not so much about, um, I suppose depending on the chart, not so much about uh, playing all the hits because this particular chart doesn't really have um, any hits except one. Um, the most important thing is map reading and, and uh, following the signposts that get you from the start of the chart to the end of the chart um, and marking out the end of eight bar phrases and, and things like that. So um, this is really chart reading or, or map reading really um, and the chart reading will get progressively harder um, and it won't just be a map that you're reading, but you're also reading lots of figures and uh, um, signatures along the way. Uh, this basic chart is a uh, 16th note feel. It's from the Dave Wickle um, Play Along Volume 1. And uh, on one of my earlier demonstrations, I used one of the Dave Wickle Play Alongs, which just happens to be this, the track that I'm going to do the chart for. Um, we, uh, we like to use the uh, charts for the play along songs that we've been using because the students have been hearing these songs lots over the, the couple of years they've been um, learning up to this point. So they're very familiar with the song but now they're going to put it into context um, with a chart or with a map. Um, so uh, what they've been using for it, the, the tune in the past is just any particular beat they've been playing along to and it's been a, um, the, the music in the background they've been trying to get in time and get in feel with. But now uh, it's telling us that we have to have a 16th note funk feel. It gives us an intro. Um, it kind of shows that it's a basic type of beat with 16th notes. Um, and I, I allow the student to kind of choose what that 16th note beat is going to be. And um, I'll, what I'll do is when I play it, I'll just play a, a simple one that most students type, pick um, to have a go at. Uh, you want to keep that beat pretty simple because you're really going to be concentrating on where you are in the chart and uh, how many bars you've played. Um, in the fourth bar, there's a, a crash symbol. It says um, there's a keyboard kind of stab or a note that lasts, so a crash symbol is going to go there. And then there's double bar lines, uh, which we're going to uh, mark out with a small fill. Um, at different places, it tells you to do a little fill, um, some more crash symbols, another fill, more double bar lines. So. Um, what we're getting students to do with this exercise is mark out the form of the chart. Make this piece of paper uh, turn into music rather than just being a lot of black, black notes or just empty boxes basically. Um, and this can be quite scary for um, a player if they haven't come across this before because uh, it's really, it doesn't give you a lot of information. It tells you the feel but you've got to make everything else up. So you need to have a little bit of uh, knowledge or stylistic awareness which I'll talk about in one of the later uh, tabs um, that you can click on. Uh, so you need to know a little bit about the style. So we're, we're doing a funk piece. I'll play maybe up to the uh, um, the B section or maybe even just the, the second A section. I'll just do a little bit and I'm gonna, uh, if you're counting along, you'll hear that every four bars you'll hear me a little crash symbol or a small fill or something to mark out the form so that if I was playing with other musicians, they would know where, where we are on the chart. Okay, so this is Dave Wickle, Play Along Volume 1, uh, chart, 16th note feel. We'll just play a little bit of it.
So there it was, uh, marking out the, the form of the chart. Uh, so in this, in this task, um, I would sit down with the students, we would play the music and follow the chart and talk about the different things, the sign, the coda, um, and some students would have come across that type of thing uh, if they've done some rock school exams. Uh, if they haven't, this might be the first time that they're, they're coming across this type of thing. So sitting down and going through it, listening to the, the track with the drums on it, and, uh, and getting an idea of how that goes is how we'd start doing that and then take it from there. Okay, that's that.